There are all kinds of peculiar primates throughout the world that I bet you haven't even heard of. A barrel full of these six primates would surely be a good time. What makes these primates unique? And which will become your new favorite? Come swing through the treetops with us as we meet six of the world's funkiest monkeys and greatest of apes. At number six is the blushing bald wakari. The bald wakari spends its days in the treetops of the flooded forests of the Amazon and tributaries in eastern Peru and western Brazil. The bald wakari is red in the face, but that doesn't mean it's embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. You embarrassed? How about that dad joke? <laughs> their facial redness is actually an indicator of good health. They chose their mates based on the vibrancy of their faces. Who would have thought monkeys could be so vain? Perched at number five is G's Golden Langur. These blonde beauties are found along the border of India and Bhutan. The Langur's feet rarely touch the ground. They spend 99% of their time in trees, traveling 200 to 700 meters a day. First documented by primatologists in 1956, the Golden Langur is a relatively new discovery in the monkey world. Secretive, thanks to the amount of time they spend in the canopies, they're still endangered. With less than 6,500 left, it's their sacred status among Hindus that could save them from extinction. The proboscis monkey noses its way into the number four spot. These monkeys are island dwellers and call parts of Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia home. Let's talk about the elephant-like nose in the room, shall we? An adult male's nose can be larger than 10 centimeters in length. Big-nosed male proboscis monkeys do well among the ladies. Don't you call my husband Big Nose? Well, I ask our Big Nose. Their hard-to-miss facial feature corresponds with their physical strength and virility. That's one sexy schnoz. The singing golden snub-nosed monkey takes number three. Found in the forests of central China, these are monkeys also known for their nose, or lack of it. Their sneezer sits back from their muzzle. They have flaps of skin covering their nostrils, which protects against frostbite on cold winter nights. Like a ventriloquist, the snub-nosed monkey can vocalize without moving their mouths or bodies. Dummy! Hey, who said that? The wee pygmy marmoset is our number two pick. The pygmy marmoset bounds through the treetops of South American forests. At only 13.5 centimeters in length, they are the smallest monkey in the world. You could fit a pygmy marmoset in the palm of your hand. Aw, how cute. But they might shred your flesh with their sharp teeth and claws. The pygmy marmoset diet consists of sap and gum, and their physical adaptations help them pry open tree trunks. Small yet vicious. And inflating our top spot is the Siamang ape. Don't look down. Siamang apes live in the trees of Malaysia and Indonesia at heights around 25 to 30 meters. You can't miss their balloon-like throat sac that inflates to be the size of their head. The sac acts as a megaphone and is used to amplify their calls. Mated pairs of Siamang apes are early risers, sure to wake up their neighbors. Their morning songs are called duets and can last up to 20 minutes. A couple that sings together stays together. Want more monkey business? I bet you could never guess which of these monkeys made it into our video about animals that look like private parts. Spending their lives among the treetops and using their unique physical characteristics to survive in the wild are what these monkeys do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.